is Roxy and I am the blogger and photographer behind CGS Creative. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create beautiful graphics for your blog or your Instagram account using your cell phone. So let's get started. For this tutorial I'm going to be focusing on using two free apps. The first one is Snapseed. This is what I use to edit my photos when I create styled images for Instagram. It really helps to bring out the brightness and it's got some really awesome features that I'm going to be showing you a little bit later on. And the second one that I use to add text to my images and to create borders and add all kinds of doodles and fun things is called Studio. So I'm going to be showing you how I use these apps to um, edit my photos and also to add text onto there that you can use for blog graphics or to add a little bit of fun to your Instagram account. For this styled photo, I'm going to be using my cell phone. I've got an iPhone 6, but you can use any phone that can support Snapseed and Studio. Those are the free apps I'm going to be using. You're going to need a background, whether you use a white foam board or a colored foam board. I'm going to be using white for this particular shoot. You need natural light and you're going to need some props. Now we've got our natural props. I'm going to show you how I style and lay out my props to take photos for my blog post and for my Instagram post. So earlier I spoke about a whiteboard. I wanted to show you an extra thing that I found here in Korea. It is a sticker. It's a marble sticker. So I'm going to be doing two photos today. I'm going to show you one with the white background, which I've got here, plain white foam board, and I've stuck this piece of marble sticker onto the other side of the board. Okay, so now we've got our props. I've got um, the grass that I collected earlier, which is gonna already feed into the theme of the photos that I'm gonna be taking. So before you take your photos and before you style them, they have a think about your branding colors, what the theme is of your Instagram already, and the kind of feel that you want to create in the photos that you're gonna be making. So for me, I've got a lot of natural browns and creams here in these flowers that um, I realized that I had these donuts from a photo shoot that I did yesterday that are gonna work perfectly. You can see a lot of browns a lot of creams in these photos. I've got some washi tape, again, in neutral colors. These ones are probably not gonna work very well. Um, I've just got a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna play with and see what works well. I've got a ruler, going for a slightly more masculine feel, a brown and cream pencil. I've got these <laughs> pearls that are probably not gonna work for this photo shoot, but I've got them here anyway, whoopsie. And some gold paper clips. Let's make some pretty pictures together. Okay, to start editing your photos, what you're gonna do is open up your photos on your phone and go through each one. You need to select the photos that you like the best, which is why I suggest taking as many photos as possible from different angles. On an iPhone, you can hit the little heart at the bottom of the screen to favorite your best photos. As you can see, I'm going through and just looking at the different angles and seeing which photo looks the best to me. Also keep in mind what you want to do to your photo. If you're wanting to add text, you're going to want a lot of white space around the photo. And we, know we won't need to do too much to these photos because I already used lots of natural, really pretty light. So we won't need to do too much editing later on. That's why your lighting is so important when you take your photos. Open up your photo in Snapseed. This is where we're going to edit the photo. We're going to play with our um, brightness and... Um, you're going to press the little pencil icon in the bottom right hand corner to edit the photo. You're going to open up, open up the image in your camera roll or wherever your photos are stored on your phone. So as you can see, I'm going to open them from my device, which is my iPhone. And I'm going to scroll and choose the photo that I want to work on today. Okay, we've got our image and now we're going to edit it. 
So you're going to go and select the selective function here because I'm going to be using um, the selective function to just highlight bits and pieces of the photo that are needing a little bit of brightening here. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the plus button in the bottom of the screen and scrolling left and scrolling right adjust the brightness. You can see the B stands for brightness. So every time you click that plus button you can add another brightness button to change. If you scroll up and down you can change that brightness to another setting so you can change the contrast or the saturation but I just want it on to be B because I just want to change the brightness of the different parts of the photo. So as you can see scrolling left um, makes the photo darker and scrolling right makes it brighter just on that particular spot where the where the bee is placed on your photo and once you've placed it you can click on it again to move it around so if you think you've made something a bit too bright you can move that bee around once you're happy with how it looks you can go back to the tools menu and tune image if you click on tune image which is in the top you can then select a few more editing things to do to your photos so as you can see swipe swiping up and down changes the brightness function or the contrast saturation ambience I'm gonna go and change my contrast now so swiping left and right changes the actual contrast of your image as you can see when you press the image with your thumb you're able to see the before and after so you can get a good idea of how much you've edited because you don't want the photo looking too fake or too overly contrasted you still want it looking natural and once you're happy with how it looks you're going to click save in the top and it will save your photo to your camera roll. You can choose to save your photo as a new image or to save it over the existing image as it is already. Now we're going to go and add text to our image. So you're going to open up the studio app by pressing the plus button in the bottom of the screen will help you to open a new image to edit. You can see these are the previous ones that I've done before where I've added text to different photos and added filters and added shapes and all kinds of pretty things. You can do all sorts with the Studio app and it's free. <laughs> so once you press the plus button, you'll open up your camera roll again and you're going to go and scroll and find the photo that you just edited using Snapseed. You can see there all the rest of the photos that I took earlier and there's the photo that we edited. And now the fun starts. Now is where you can add shapes, layers, crop parts of the photo, add filters. And each of the things that you add onto your photo, you're able to change the color. You're able to change the um, opacity of the shape. So if you change this to a, a red or a green, you can change it to a lighter green or a darker green. You can change the size of each of the things you're putting on your photo. So you can see I'm making my little square there bigger and smaller. This is a border that I've added. You can see where I'm changing colors now literally using your finger and you can just select the image, the color that you want to use. You can also keep opening, um, making your photo bigger and smaller by just placing your fingers on the screen. And you can drag everything. Everything works in layers, but you can do everything on your photo. So you just select what you want to edit and you can change around each of the items that are there. There's loads of awesome things that are in the in the studio app store itself and all of these little photo packs or shape packs are all free. So I use the, there's a ideas, um, a light bulb um, back on the home screen that will allow you to search for other creations people have done and you can go and use those creations and change them. So it'll give you all the same, it'll load those those photo packs and those image packs onto your, your app itself and you can go and then change the background image to one of your photos and change each of the things that they've got in their photo. So it's really cool. It's a really nice way of um, recreating images and also a nice way if you're creating blog graphics, you can create the graphic once, save it in studio and then when you go and open it again you can then change the background image to be something else so it's really easy to use you literally just clicking and dragging and you can change the colors you can change the opacity of each of the items that you place on your photo so we're going to add a bit of text here you can see there's a whole bunch of already preloaded texts and you can change it easily using the T button in the top left hand corner the cross will delete what you've um, what you've made and then um, using your fingers you can just make it bigger or smaller. 
So as we've got a donut here, I'm going to try the phrase donut worry. Let's see. You can see, again, keeping your branding on track, you want to try and remember that you are branding your image. So you want your text to be the same that you use on your blog. You don't want to be adding a whole bunch of different fonts suddenly. You want to keep everything on brand. So I'm going to go and add text here. Just playing around and showing you more of the different um, cutouts you can put on that will chop off different parts of your photos. There's so many different things you can use. I spend hours on this app playing around with it and really, really having fun. You can really get creative. You can add brushes, each of these brushes. You can change the color, change the size, change the opacity. Now that you've seen how to do that, I am going to create a graphic that shows you how to beautify your Instagram. Seeing as that's what we're talking about today, that is the graphic that I would create for a blog post that I was doing on this topic. So you're just going to add your text, change it. And in the text, you can also change the, the spacing between the letters. You can change whether everything's on one line, whether it's justified, whether it's centered. You can do everything with this. You can see I've changed it to a brown color to match the rest of the image, the rest of the colors in my photo. I'm just changing um, a few little elements of the text there. Making it bigger, using your fingers, making it smaller, and now I'm placing it into the white space on my image, just so it shows off really nicely and doesn't distract detract from the rest of the photo. Let's play around with the different fonts. See which one looks looks best with this. Also keeping in mind my own branding and how I want this image to look. You can choose where you want to save this image. It'll automatically be saved onto your camera roll or you can save it to Facebook, straight onto Instagram or Twitter or any of those other social media options. And there you go. Really, really easy way to edit and add text to your photos. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I style my photographs for my blog and for Instagram. I'm going to go and treat myself to one of those donuts now. I think you should do the same. It's hard work taking photos. And yeah, you can find me at citygirlsearching.com. I am rebranding and I'm going to be having a new website really soon, which will be cgscreative.com. And I've got some really exciting services and photographic packages that are coming out. So I think you're going to be really, really, really excited when you see those. So make sure to head over to cgscreative.com and I will see you guys over there very soon. Enjoy.